What's up guys, it's Justin here, and today I've got a what's in my summer tech bag or summer tech episode where I kind of brought together some items that I think are very nice for the summer. They're fun, they make you go outside a little bit like I had to to film it. And I don't know, we kind of have a bit of everything here including a boosted board, a drone, a cool backpack, um, Insta Mini X cam that I never thought I'd buy, a Bluetooth speaker of course, and also a DJI Osmo Mobile that is great for IGTV or just recording some short summer films on your phone. As always, if you guys wanna check anything out, I'm gonna leave a link to them down below and I'm also gonna give away one item from this video, so all you have to do to enter is make sure you're subscribed to the channel, drop a like on this video, and also leave a comment down below with your favorite item. And as always, I would also really appreciate if you guys went and followed me on my Instagram and Twitter as I'm gonna to try to be more active with photos in the summer. And I'll be announcing a winner in the comment section at 3,000 likes. But without further ado, I think we got some fun stuff here and some cool B-roll, so let's go ahead and get started with the first item. So beginning with the first item, this is the Boosted Board Mini S. This is Boosted Board's newest line of products. They did the Mini S and the Mini X, and this is the cheapest Boosted Board that has been available, and it is $749. The S model has a max speed of 18 miles per hour and a seven mile range, while the X model has a 20 mile per hour limit and also 14 miles of range, so about double. I personally don't really need anything that fast because I really don't know how to ride this that well, but the iconic 80 millimeter lunar wheels that are in the nice orange color are very stable and smooth from my experience. There's three different ride modes from beginner to pro and I overall think this is like the perfect summer item where if you just live in California or New York and just need something to get around but you don't have a car. The mini model is definitely my model of choice because I don't really want to carry anything too large like the larger boosted board. So this is kind of a good size but I will say it is a little bit heavier than I did expect. So if the battery does die you will have to kind of carry it around because you can't really ride it without any charge. Something that I never thought I'd buy was the Fuji Insta X Mini 9 and I've actually made fun of a lot of people including my sister for buying this just saying it's stupid and being someone who has switched between many DSLRs I just like didn't really see the purpose in shooting like this. I have shot film before in school when I took a class and needed an easy elective and I sucked at it but this is essentially a camera that is perfect for the summer because you can take a picture anywhere you are and it'll print out right away and develop within a couple minutes. It also comes in under $100, but you do have to buy film for it, and I think it comes in sets of 10. And there is just a few different shooting modes depending on what kind of situation you are in or just different lighting. And to use it, it is super simple. I'm just gonna demonstrate it right now. You just need to press this and um, set the mode that you're shooting in. So right now we are indoors. Just look through the viewfinder if you want to, and there's also a little selfie mirror on the front if you wanna do that, but I'm definitely not gonna do that. And there you go. So we just took a photo right now. Just give it a few seconds to print and we'll um, check back in a couple minutes about the results. So there we go. Um, this is what it looks like when it first comes out of the printer. I think you're supposed to just like, I just seen people shake it and wait a couple seconds for it. <laughs> But as much as I really didn't care about this thing for the longest time, um, and I've seen it all over the place, I actually really enjoy using it. And I kind of almost want to pick up some more film cameras that can print instantly just for some creative stuff. So um, yeah, that's what the photo looks like, but I'm gonna insert a piece of B-roll just to show you guys what the final image turned out. Another tech item that I've really enjoyed lately and can recommend to a lot of people is a DJI Osmo Mobile 2. So DJI is really good at stabilization stuff. They do a lot of the professional line with the Ronins, um, the Ronin S that I'm waiting on, as well as the drones. And this is a second generation and really the only thing that has changed is that they lowered the price a lot. The build quality is a little bit cheaper with the plastic but I personally don't really care about that. And the battery life is also essentially doubled which is really nice to see and it pretty much has everything that you expect out of a handheld smartphone gimbal. There is a USB port if you want to charge your device while using it. And after spending a few minutes kind of balancing it, whether it's in portrait or landscape mode if you're using IGTV or doing some short films on your device, you're pretty much ready to go and it works very well with the DJI app. I personally don't use any of the smart features such as hyperlapse, time lapse, the motion tracking and stuff. I just use the normal camera app and control it as a stabilizer. But if you guys look at the controls right here, you're able to zoom in and out as well as control the joystick for the angles and rotation. There's also a record button and the mode switch that can switch around. I just think at $130 in the US, this is probably one of the most economical options out there. And if you wanna jump into IGTV or short films because smartphones nowadays have such good cameras, then this is a great option. Moving on, every summer tech episode needs a nice Bluetooth speaker and the reason why I chose the Cove one is because it actually has two different modes including outdoor and indoor EQ. It is a speaker that is durable, I've definitely taken it around a lot of places to the lake and stuff. I've even dropped it a couple times and it's perfectly fine, but it also has an IPX4 water resistant rating. The way it's designed is nice and portable, it's also light, and the 360 degree sound design sounds pretty good, so here's a quick sound test. Is that right? Is that right? Is that right? 
sipping more wet and yeah, I swear it get whole wetter. My little but that's news on my bottom say it's red. Hey, get away from my the camera. I'm over it, don't want to spin inside. The X-Base subwoofer is definitely something that stood out to me and I personally did find myself using the different EQ options including indoor and outdoor and I definitely noticed a sound difference in the tuning. There's also a microphone built in and stuff as well as a volume dial that is on the top and very easy to access. And the 4000 milliamp hour battery gives you up to eight hours of listening which is pretty standard for a Bluetooth speaker of this size. It definitely isn't the best looking speaker out there but it's very simple in design and very durable and I think for a Bluetooth speaker with good sound quality that is going to be the main priority. If you guys wanna go ahead and check this out, you can go ahead and check the link down below with a coupon code Code, and I'd like to thank them for sponsoring this video. Another piece of tech that a lot of people do like in the summer is a drone. And my personal pick right now is a DJI Mavic Air because I think it's the best combination of portability and great video quality. It's able to shoot up to 4K 30 and 2K 60, which is pretty much what I need, but what I really like about it is just how simple the setup is. It's so small, it folds up very nicely in a nice carry case that I include, and the remote itself connects to your smartphone, and that is essentially how you run all the controls of the drone. It's of course got the three axis gimbal, and in most situations, it is very stable, but if you compare it to the Phantom, of course, being a larger and more powerful drone, in windy situations, this might not do the best job. But I will say from testing at the lake and stuff, it is stronger than you think. The battery has a max flight time of 21 minutes, and I definitely recommend getting the Fly More pack because it is just a much better value once you factor in the price of additional batteries. It definitely has quite a few smart modes as well, and in terms of just getting aerial footage, this has been my drone for the past few months. It also has object avoidance built in, and if you plan to shoot outside, which I hope you are, then you definitely want to get an ND filter from Polar Pro, which is, in my case, the NDA, which allows me to shoot at a good shutter speed while outside. If you're also planning to go out a lot, then you probably also want to pick up something like a D-brand skin for your smartphone, especially in the summer. Back in the day, I used to repair smartphones as kind of a side summer job, and I found the summertime to be the time where everyone had like a cracked or scratched device. And with the D-Brand skin, if you're someone who's not a big fan of cases, you're able to protect your device that has a glass back pretty nicely with a skin. It comes in many different fun colors and textures, and I'm going to leave the link to them down below. Of course, with any summer video, you also want a nice backpack, and the one that I really like lately is the Herschel Retreat. And the reason why I like this is because it's able to hold quite a few things. And as you guys can probably see, the tech gear bag is getting pretty full. And typically I like to use kind of the pop quiz or the smaller school backpacks, but this bag is able to hold many more things, including a laptop and everything. So Herschel has definitely been my favorite go-to for many years now when it comes to quality and looks. Some other smaller things that I recommend picking up as like small accessories that might be a little bit cheaper but are great to have are, for example, a battery pack. And the one that I still use the most is the Anchor Power Core. This one right here is the 10,000 milliamp hour model and I bring this around the most because 10,000 milliamp hours is very portable but at the same time gives you more than enough juice that you're going to need for a couple days. It has a single USB port on one side as well as a battery indicator that has many different levels. And just looking at a lot of the other pieces of tech that I mentioned in this video such as the drone, the phone, the Osmo Mobile, as well as the Bluetooth speaker. These are all things that can take advantage of the portable battery to charge during the day. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching this summer tech video and let me know down in the comment section below as to what your favorite thing is to do in the summer. I definitely had a lot of fun filming parts of this video outdoors and going out to the lake and stuff. But as always, if you guys have any questions or comments or video suggestions, make sure you drop them down in the comment section below. I am working on some back to school videos very soon, but I'll see you all in the next one. And that's how we've been catching this drone all three times. <laughs>